Hello everyone, welcome to D2B TV. So this is another transfer speculation uh, video, but this one I think has got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot behind it. And it's based on Fabio Cavallio. Now, he's playing for Fulham. And as you well know, Fulham is where we got Harvey Elliott from. So we've got a real good history of nabbing some of Fulham's best youngsters. So, his Wikipedia states that uh, Fabio Leandro Freitas Gueva Cavallo is his full name. He was born on the 30th of August 2002. He's only 19. He was born in Lisbon. He is a winger stroke attacking midfielder. He started his youth career at Benfica. Left them in 2013. Went to a team called Ballam. Left them in 2014 to sign for Fulham. This, this season so far for Fulham, he has scored eight goals. In 20 games, he's also played for England on the 16th, scoring two in 10 games. England on the 17th, scoring one in six games. And England on the 18th, yeah, sorry, on the 18th, where he's played six matches. It says here today that Fabio Cavallio to Liverpool, all there is to know about the pursuit of the Fulham attacker. Liverpool have been credited, credited, sorry, with an interest in Fulham's Fabio Cavallio in recent weeks. But just what do we know about the Reds' pursuit of the 19-year-old? The hours until the January transfer deadline are quickly dwindling to zero. And as expected, Liverpool have not been active participants. I've just got Sky on in front of me at the moment. There's four days and nine hours left of the window. Outgoings may be on the cards, and while, a new, while new faces are not anticipated, Cavallio could prove to be an exception should things fall into place. His name has, aris has risen into prominence with regard to Liverpool as the month has progressed, but what do we know about the teenage and his situation? It says here, the 19-year-old has established himself self as a regular under Marco Silva, uh, Fulham's side, uh, in his maiden season as a full-time senior player, contributing to eight goals and two assists in the 18 games. Cavallio is, is an exciting attacking midfielder who is capable of playing out wide or deeper in the midfield. He has risen through the youth ranks at Fulham, having first started in Benfica's academy. The Portuguese-born Cavallio has represented England at 16, 17 and 18 levels, which is what I just said on Wikipedia, and is keen for an eye for a pass. His first touch is great and proficiency in front of goal can catch an of, of many eye. He battled through a toe injury earlier in the season before they'd been sidelined by COVID for a total of nine league games. But in his last three appearances, he scored four goals and assisted to help Fulham pull away at the top of the championship. What has been reported? Firstly, it is important to note that Cavalier's contract at Fulham is to expire in the summer as he's resisted in signing a new deal. Now, my my video yesterday was about... Was about... Uh, what's his name again? The Juventus forward... The Dybala, Palo Dybala. Now, if we can get Dybala and this Cavallo on a free, listen, I know you'll get them idiots out there. It'll go, oh, here we go again. AFSG not spending money. Listen, Mbappe's going on a free. Would you say no to him? Doesn't matter. It's called astute, shrewd, world class business. And if it comes to the to, to the summer and we spend 70 million on Jude Bellingham and pull a couple of freebies, I will be more than happy. So, Cavallo, Dybala and Bellingham, I would sign up for instantly. So, there you go with that. So, it says it means he will be available for a free transfer in the summer unless the cottages decide to cash in while they can in January. So, where do Liverpool come in? Now, this is James Pearce, which is the reason why I'm actually doing this video. So I like to just do videos, not on every rumour, on ones I think there's a lot of source to. James Pearce reported earlier in the month that the Reds have scouted Cavallo extensively and their reports have been described as glowing. Pearce added he would fit the bill at Anfield in terms of his age, his profile, the fact he qualifies as homegrown and let's not forget Harvey Elliott travelled a similar path. That is the reason why I've done this video. I think that we will sign this lad either this window or 100% in the summer. Because to me, what better negotiation can you put over the table than say to him, oh, by the way, you could go to Chelsea, you could go to Man United, you could go anywhere. But what? look at Harvey Elliott. He's two, three years younger than you are, 
and he was playing every week for us until he got injured. So we are proven to give young lads a chance in the first team. Kay Gordon's been playing recently. So we are probably one of the only teams, along with Dortmund, that give youth a chance in the first team. So to me, let me know what you think of it. But I am, I am really, really hopeful that this could be a great signing. And to be honest with you, those that will moan that we're signing a young player from the Championship need to look at one Harvey Elliott. You'll never walk alone.